Hello, and welcome to day 12 of Christmas Songs on Weird Instruments with Matt. Today, I'm happy to feature an instrument that you haven't seen on CSOWIWM since way back in Season 1, and that is the Concertina. The Concertina is the much smaller cousin of the accordion, and other than the obvious size difference between the instruments and the corresponding difference in number of pitches that you can play, the other major distinction between the concertina and the accordion is that on concertinas, the buttons or keys are on the side of the instrument, whereas on accordions, the keys and the buttons are on the front. The concertina has a kind of interesting history of its invention, wherein, much like calculus, two different versions of the same thing were created independently of each other, uh, just a few years apart. The English concertina was first created in 1829, and just five years later, without any knowledge of that concertina, came the German concertina in 1834. This particular concertina is a German concertina, although it is hexagonal, which is more similar to the English concertina style. Um, but like other German concertinas, it is bisonoric, meaning you get one pitch if you're going in, and a different pitch if you're going out. Pretty tricky. Uh, this particular concertina seems to have been made by the Schulz and Gundlach company from Germany in Berlin in the 1930s. In trying to pick a good tune for this instrument, I discovered that stepwise motion was much easier than skips in uh, trying to play the concertina, and I was lucky enough to find a wonderful English carol, sorry German concertina, uh, that moves around mostly by steps. This carol was first published in 1823, just a few years before the English concertinas came onto the scene, and it is the first Noel. I hope you enjoy. a little extra harmony more than I planned for, but it worked out. Well, I hope your day works out in unexpected ways as well. I will see you next time.